Hi guys, this is Rina from CF Power Scripts. In today's video, I want to show you how you can show or hide elements, rows and sections on your ClickFunnels funnel page after a user watches a video that you have on your funnel page. And in today's video, we are going to talk about YouTube videos. And if you're hosting your videos at Vimeo, then you can check out the video by clicking on the card in the top right corner. So let's start. The first thing you need to do is to log in into your CF Power Scripts account. Then go to the Power Script, go to the funnel where you have your YouTube video. And unless you have YouTube videos on all the funnel steps and you want to apply scripts to all of them, then please choose the specific funnel step where you have your video and install the script right there. And also keep in mind that if you have a split test running, then you will have to add the script to both pages. For now, we click on this icon and go to the page editor. We have a few things that we need to do in the ClickFunnels page editor before we add the script. First of all, you go to the settings of your video. Make sure that you choose YouTube as video type and also add YouTube URL to your video. Also go to the end of the URL and copy the video ID because we will need it in a few minutes. Then go to the CSS info of the video and change the title of the video to CFPS-YT for YouTube-Pro-PB minus video ID that you've just copied. If you want to have a play button overlay on your video, then you will use PB in your title. If you don't want to use the play button overlay, then the title of your video should be CFPS-YT-Pro-VideoID. I'm gonna use the play button overlay and that's why I'm using PB in the title as well. And after that, click update. In addition to that, we also want to adjust some settings for the elements that you want to show or hide on your ClickFunnels funnel page. For example, I want this text to be visible while a user is watching the video. That's why what I need to do, go to the settings, then go to the get CSS info and change the title of this element to CFPS minus hide because we are going to hide this element minus 4 minus YT minus video ID and click update. Also, I have a button that I want to show after a user watches the entire YouTube video. I go to the elements, click manage. Now I'm going to show the button. And we also need to adjust the settings of this button. We go to the get CSS info again and change the title of the button to CFPS minus show because we're going to show this element after the video is watched minus 4 minus YT minus video ID and click update. Don't forget to hide this element because you don't want it to be visible when a user is still watching your video. Don't forget to save the changes on the page. Now we go back to CF Power Scripts. We click add new to add the script that we are going to use you may look for CF YouTube Pro. And here you see the instructions that we just went through. The main purpose of this script is actually to hide the YouTube branding and overlays on your videos that you are embedding on your funnel pages. That's why you also can do it with that script. And if you want to know how you can do it, then click the card in the top right corner and check it out. The only thing that we have to do now is to click add script. Now let's test how it all works. You again can click on the icon and preview funnel step. You can see that the YouTube branding is not visible and because I used PB in the title for the video, I have a play button here, which is slightly animated. When you click on it, you see briefly the YouTube branding and after that it disappears. Unfortunately, there is no way to remove it fully, but that's how it works. The video is short and after it ends, this element should disappear and we should see our button. And right on time the video ended and now we have the button but we don't see the text anymore. That's how easy you can show or hide elements, sections and rows in your ClickFunnels funnels after users watch your YouTube videos. Also, with the same script, you can hide the YouTube branding on the videos and make specific overlays. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments down below or hit the support button that you can see on the CF Power Scripts dashboard and we will be more than happy to help you. See you in my next videos. Bye-bye.